Hi, I'm Nancy, and we've been living in a fictional world for over a year already. My mother lives in it, to be exact, and I have to put up with it. The thing is, my mom turned into an Instagram star, and that is just horrible. It all started when I was 12. Me, my mom, and several of my friends celebrated my birthday. It was summer, and it was very hot. We went for a picnic to a nearby lake to have an opportunity to swim. And then my mother decided to record our rest on video and take a lot of photos for the very first time in her life. She took a lot of selfies and asked me to make a bunch of photos of her with my friends at the beach and near some picturesque trees. I never suspected anything foul, so I just did what she asked and we had a lot of fun. But the very next day, my mom told me that she discovered a fun new social network called Instagram. She wanted to make a blog and post photos with our daily activities. As for me, it was kind of okay. There are millions of so-called lifestyle bloggers on Instagram after all. I never thought that she would become popular, yet mom really wanted to become a star. She took out a loan and bought an expensive phone, a professional microphone, and a selfie ring light. Then she put all of those devices to work. She took photos of me doing homework, swimming in a pool, or cuddling with my friends and dropped all of those into her account. But my photos weren't interesting to her subscribers and mom grew really annoyed. I tried not to pay attention to her Instagram affair and just enjoyed my teenage life. To be honest, Instagram is a cool social network, but I'm not ready to devote my whole life to it. Yet my mom was willing to do anything to become famous and she actually managed to make her wish come true. She had thousands of subscribers, but she just wanted more. So one day, she deleted all the old photos with me and uploaded several of her. There was a very revealing one, a romantic one, all rosy and cute, and a photo where mom was posing wearing formals. Those photos looked like they were made by a professional photographer, but I knew mom did it all by herself. She picked up her best looking and most fashionable clothes, really tried to show off, and spent her last money on Instagram advertising. Funny thing is that it worked. In just a few days, she gained thousands of subscribers. And in a week, her blog had reached a whopping 10,000 subscribers level. An astounding achievement for a woman who spent all her life working as a shopkeeper in a grocery store. Well, yeah, my mom's only 34. She's young and beautiful but she's not a star by any margin. Yeah, she shows her subscribers the exercises she does to keep her figure in shape, but she never does those off screen. She never attends any galas or events, yet she tells lies to her subscribers and I don't know why. The worst part is that she completely forgot about us. She stopped checking my homework. She even stopped talking to me. Each time I entered her room to ask for advice or something, she just yelled at me because I spoiled another one of her takes. Now I do everything around the house and she doesn't even help. I cook for both of us, clean, do the dishes, and so on and so forth. Mom just makes new vlogs, communicates with the subscribers, and lives the life of an Instagram superstar. Some time ago, she even retired and now spends all her time tending to her Instagram account. Well, yeah, she earned some nice cash off of it. Still, the majority of her earnings is spent on new clothes, jewelry, and new gadgets for filming. And the worst thing is that I feel completely neglected. I practically lost my appetite and became apathetic. I didn't want to see my friends anymore. My studies suffered and all my scores went down. Now my highest grade is a C+. But mom never noticed anything. She never paid any attention to me since she became an Instagram star. We even stopped communicating. Now we only exchange good mornings and good evenings, and that's it. It feels like I'm renting a room and she's just a neighbor. I practically have no mom now, and I'm only 13. There was only one way to get my mother's attention and somehow stir up her virtual world. One day, I didn't come back from school. I just didn't come home and stayed at a friend's house. Yet mom still didn't notice that. She never called me, didn't ask where I was, what was wrong with me, or whether I would return home at all. Although, I spent the whole day and the whole night next to the phone, afraid to close my eyes even for a second, waiting for her to call. So now I decided not to return home for several more days. I won't even pick up the phone if she decided to call me. Let's see how it goes. You're a grand Instagram star, mom. Fine. Let's see whether you care at all for your real life. 
Hi, I'm Amy, Nancy's mother, and I'm quite afraid. I haven't heard anything from my daughter for several days now. Of course, of course, I tried calling her, her friends, her friends' parents, but she didn't pick up the phone, and no one knew anything about where she went. I called relatives, acquaintances, even hospitals, and even morgues. Yet Nancy was nowhere to be found. At first, honestly, I didn't notice her absence. I just assumed that she had decided to stay at a friend's house for a day. I mean, all of us did that when we were children, right? Plus, I had important things to do. I was recording a commercial for a brand that decided to promote itself using my Instagram account. If you're active on Instagram, you definitely know me, and some of you are even subscribed to me. Not to brag or anything, but I'm a very popular influencer. And now my own daughter became an obstacle to my career. You see, I'm pretty sure that she ran away from home on purpose. She's always been temperamental. Somehow my daughter doesn't understand that I'm having the time of my life. I've become a real star. Millions of people want my content. They listen to my voice and they believe me. I finally became a mover and a shaker. I was just a saleswoman, a nobody. Now I'm an Instagram celebrity. Moreover, I share my secrets with the subscribers and help them to become successful women too. What's wrong with that? Finally, I can afford to buy clothes that I've never even thought about before. I can choose the products that suit me and I don't have to think about their cost. Yet, only a year ago, I couldn't even count a penny to my name. You know what? <laughs> I just think my own daughter is jealous of me. I know, right? Just think about it. I'm only 34 and I'm successful and a beautiful young woman who's also an Instagram star. Perhaps I'll even meet my true love in no time and become richer and even more beautiful. And yet, my Nancy is a classic C student who doesn't have any good friends and isn't successful at all. Besides, she just looks <sighs> plain awful. I mean, honestly, this girl is already 13 years old. She's a teenager. She should be making out with boys. Yet she neglects herself and no boy would ever look at her. She's better if she actually listens to my advice, yet she just kept saying that I lived in a virtual world, whatever that means. But no, darling, I'm the one who lives in the real world, and my life allows me to do whatever I want. After all, it's me who provides for her and makes her childhood comfortable. Nancy's dad has never given anything to us. No alimony, no time, nothing. Actually, Nancy should be really thankful to me and stop being so petty and envious. She could have already started her own Instagram vlog and made some cool content. I'd even teach her the basics. Together, we could have made a great family business. But no, she was stubborn. She wanted real smiles and real emotions. Like the internet isn't real. She never cared about vlogs and their magic. Well, I guess she's still a child and still a stranger in this world. She thinks that my works are illusionary. But I'm confident that social networks are more than real. You follow famous people. You enjoy their successes. You share their defeats. You're always ready to help each other. And Nancy's so-called real life is a pile of steaming garbage. You know... Like I said before, I was just a lowly saleswoman. I worked in a small shop with terrible customers, and I had no future at all. What's the point of such a life? I don't want to return to that, and I'll do my best to make sure that Nancy understands that. Now, I just have to find her, but I've got no idea where she's hiding. She knows that children mustn't spend so much time alone and away from home. Well, now when she doesn't distract me, I can actually make a lot more videos with less effort. Yet she's still my daughter and it's my obligation to raise her properly. Or maybe am I mistaken about that? I've already given her everything I've got. I became successful to provide for her, to make her childhood safe and comfortable and she rejected it all. Maybe I shouldn't really search for her after all. My daughter has to experience her so-called real life herself with no help from me. Only then I will be able to get my point across to her. 
Anyway, she'll come back. And if she decides to live on her own from now on, well, she's a big girl. <laughs> Good luck to her. What do you think? Should I continue searching for Nancy? Or should I allow her to take care of herself since she apparently wants it so badly? What would you do if you were in my position?